Okay, this is the third time I'm starting this because I can see how it's frustrating. Because I think if you make one mistake, you may cause a world of hurt. Anyway, so I have my Daz characters here. The FBX files I've imported. I'm going to use this detective guy because he's not currently in the scene. I have extracted the textures and the materials. I have set the rig to humanoid. It should be all you need to do. You need to fix the materials on Daz characters. If you're a Daz user, you probably know that. Um, you can see a shirt should have a double-sided shader on it. That's why this is happening. And you have to fix the eyes and stuff like that. And you also have to fix his jawbone. And the first thing you should do when you bring him in is stick him somewhere. If he looks good, fine. If he's not, fix him. And then uh, go up here to uh, him and unpack him. You'll have to do that to use salsa on him. Then you also have to do it to re, uh, reorient or rechild the uh, lower jaw. You have to do the lower jaw because if you don't, he'll just stand there with his mouth open like an idiot. And uh, so work your way down to the head. And the lower jaw will be up here somewhere or in here. And the face rig is here, but the lower jaw needs to be a child of the face rig. And that will prevent the mouth open issue. Now, do the following things in this order. Go up here, highlight that, go to the animator and uh, connect with uh, an animation controller. Now this can be an old animation controller uh, or one that came with a uh, convey or uh, you know a copy of, of, of another animation controller. For example, if we go to the convey, this is just the convey demo scene which I'm adapting. I've saved it under a different name and then uh, I'm replacing a lot of the stuff. So here's uh, the NPC that comes with the demo. As you can see, uh, what can you see? Oh, the uh, NPC animator is here. So if we click on that it'll show you the animator and then you can make a copy of it. And I just made a control D and then a copy and then I renamed it to the detective animator. That way if you change the animations in this animator it will not affect the detective animator and vice versa. So we'll go back up to here to our detective. Then we will select the detective animator which is obviously right here. Now that is groovy. As you can see, it's just a copy of the other one. If you want to change the animations in here for the idle and the talking, you can just hit idle and then drag whatever animation you want in there. Same here. I'm using the same animation here because if you don't, when he goes to talk, uh, it could shift a lot. So you have to kind of be wary of that or you have to uh, make them connect better than I did, like like bleed into one another so that the uh, switch is a lot smoother. But this way there's no change so it looks uh, better anyway. So we'll go back to scene now. The one thing we do not want to forget is the tag. Change that to character. Alright, that's cool. And now we can uh, start doing our salsa stuff. So select that. Salsa will be installed. Um, I'm assuming you know how to do the one-click stuff. It's in the salsa add-ons. You need the following. These are the latest ones. You need the one-click base 260. You need the one-click DAS 253. And you need, uh, well that's about it. If you're not doing Ready Player Me stuff, which there is a one-click for, um, if you're doing Ready Player Me, you would need the one-click base and the RPM and the one-click tools. It depends how you import your RPM characters because the, uh, the blend shapes are set uh, with a, uh, between a value of 0 and 1 on most of the RPM imports I've seen. 
So that means that in Unity, Unity is expecting a value from 0 to 100. So you'll get virtually no movement with the blend shape set to 0 to 1. So this tools, if you select your character that has salsa on it, will change those values from 0 to 1 to 0 to 100. And then your blend shapes will work. So you need that. Now this, I'm not sure, is available in the add-ons folder on the um, Crazy Minnow site. I had to kind of complain about the RPM problem and uh, the fellow uh, from Crazy Minnow was nice enough to send this to me directly. Uh, he said they're going to put it on the site and I hope they do that quickly because it, it fixes all that stuff. Anyway, for this it's DAS, you need the one-click base, you need the one-click DAS, and that's all you need. So you'll select your character, you'll go to Game Object, Crazy Minnow, Salsa, one-clicks, DAS, this guy is Gen 8, so you hit it and it's just that easy. Um, now I'm going to delete the audio source. Uh, because the uh, when you add the convey stuff, I think it adds its own audio source. So now we're going to do the following. Comp well, we're going to do one thing first. Very important is to do the capsule collider. You want to set it to is trigger. You want to edit it uh, so that it sort of encompasses him a little more, make it a little bigger, a little wider, so that uh, when your controller, your player controller enters that area, that it'll be easier to detect. Now if all this doesn't work, I'm going to throw something. So anyway, so now that's done. Now you need to add the, uh, the convey components, and there's only two. One is the voice handler, so you add the voice handler, and it has no audio source yet. And we'll add the convey, oops, the convey NPC. Now I sort of thought that it added the uh, audio source, but I guess not. Uh, so I'm going to add it here separately. Audio, audio source. So now it's there. Um, the only thing with doing it this way is I think you can't reposition it. it. I don't know. It's it's there. I don't know where it is actually located. But anyway, so then we go back to our voice handler, and we want to associate it with uh, our guy. You want to change the microphone to audio clip. Just leave it blank. We go to our convey PC. We change this next uh, text mesh pro UGUI to this character text, which is the text box in the uh, in the the panel that comes up just to show you what's going on. And then it needs a character ID, and I'm going to use. Uh, where is he? Uh, well, I'm going to use Christina just to make it stupid. So I'm copying her, her ID, excuse me. And I'm going to control V it in here. Now he's going to talk like a girl, which is fine. Uh, I just put in an extra character. And now we uh, need to associate this also with the salsa, which is broken because we deleted the other one. So we'll just drag the character in there. It'll pick up the audio source. Now, as far as I can recall, this is all I need. So, we're going to give it a test.
I haven't got her. I haven't got him looking at this character. I haven't set up Salta to look at the uh, the player character here. Hello there. How are you today? What's up? Hi, Hi there. there. I'm, I'm doing, doing great, great today. today. I'm, I'm just, just enjoying, enjoying the simple, simple things. things. Working, Working at the, at the gas, gas station, feeling, feeling the cool breeze of the air conditioner, air conditioner on a hot, hot day, day, and cherishing the predictability, the predictability of my work. work. How, How about, about you? you? Cherishing the predictability of your work, and well, you might. So the only other <coughs> final thing you got to do, I guess, is go to your eyes, your system properties, and you'll notice the look at target is not uh, not there. So you go to your player character, and you drag your camera in there, so he'll look into the camera when you go there. And that's about it. We'll try it one more time. Now you can see he's looking at me. I'm close enough. Hi, where are you right now? Hi there. I'm, I'm currently, currently at the gas, gas station, station in Wellington, Wellington Colorado. Colorado. It's, it's where, where I, work, I work, and I'm, I'm really, really enjoying, enjoying it. it. As you know, it's a stolen character ID, so she's actually over there in the gas station. But he's using her voice. So that worked that time, yay. And uh, I hope it helps. Um, let me get out here. And uh, I don't know, you just got to be really meticulous about getting all of the, the things. The character here, we get that uh, capsule collider going and set it for uh, is trigger. Get the, uh, the audio source in there. And then associate it with your salsa uh, here in the audio source. And also associate it with the voice handler and set this to audio clip from microphone I wonder what happened if you used microphone there I, hmm, anyway and then the convey uh, NPC script to make sure you've got a, a character ID filled in and set this to character text uh, text mesh pro and make sure you edit that capsule collider so that it is big enough to intercept uh, the player character when he comes and that should do it